Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Boarding of the King's Bandwagon. Thanks for joining me here at the station for a quick briefing before our departure. I see we've got many different cities represented here today, so in order to make your journey to Sacramento over the next few weeks and hopefully months more comfortable, we're going to pair each city up with one of our players that we feel will be the best fit to guide you through your orientation. Let's start with you, Dallas. Howdy! Hey, it's not surprising to see so many of you here with such a frustrating team to watch and obviously no chance of doing anything special in the playoffs. Wait, what? It must be hard having a one-of-a-kind talent that's almost impossible to root for, so it makes sense that you'd be here cheering for a team full of likable misfits. In fact, we've got the perfect tour guide for you to bring a smile to your face and remind you what it's like to enjoy watching your team again. Meet your guide for the trip, Kevin Herter. Ah, the Red Velvet. Not only is he electric on the hardwood with a three-point average of 39.9 this season, but he's also having a blast while doing it, and even more fun after each win. I think I probably kept you from lighting the beam, so I apologize for that. No, no, I'll go. That's Kev. Kev's the beam guy, so he's happy. <laughs> All right, take it back, guys. <laughs> Great timing, Steph. Oh, that? That's the beam. Yeah, they light it after every win. And apparently Kevin loves doing it. Everybody said me about that question? That's crazy. Like, you said, like, everybody. Like, everybody said me. That's right, Kev. They did. They also said thanks for not behaving like a douchebag on social media, acting like you're better and smarter than every one of your fans. Is that Philadelphia I see? Who, me? Yeah, hey guys. Some might wonder what the heck you're doing here, but hey, it's okay. Your secret's safe with us. I wouldn't feel safe watching that team in the postseason either. Hell, I'd have more faith in Santa Claus surviving a thunderstorm of batteries than I would Joel Embiid making it past the second round of the playoffs. That's not even how it went down. But not to worry. We've got the perfect tour guide to pair you up with for orientation today. Meet Harrison Barnes. That's right, Harry B is the right guide for you. He's a cagey vet that knows how to bring out the best in everyone around him. And if there's any city in this group that could use a tune-up in the old personality department, can I get off this thing? Nope, Harrison, they're all yours, bud. Take them to the back to get situated and good luck to you. I see we've got some Wizards fans here. Is that them in the back? Hey, it's not surprising after that 132-118 drubbing that the Kings men put on you this weekend. I was actually there for the game and it was hard to hear any of you during that fourth quarter at your own arena in the nation's capital. It's pretty clear that after having a team worthy of basically nothing other than Jordan's fading career and an explosive backcourt back in 2010, so your inner joy has been beaten down into a pulp and crushed inside. Well, we've got the perfect tour guide for you. Malik? Oh no. There he is. Malik Monk, meet your group for the trip to the City of Trees. They need a taste of your fun-loving, carefree attitude that you put on display for the league each and every night. Making a run for the sixth man of the year with an average of nearly 11 points per game off the bench and an immeasurable burst in energy and intangibles, they'll be chomping at the bit for more, just like Kyle Kuzma on the drive over to Kylie's house at 2 a.m. And that brings us to you, Chicago. Hello and welcome. Look, you don't have to be shy. Everyone says that New York is the mecca of basketball, but we all know where the goat grazed for grass every day when he was roaming. You'll be forever known as one of the greatest basketball cities of all time. Where we're headed, those people don't have a clue what winning feels like. So don't be ashamed to jump ship now and join this city of wonderful people since they've got something to cheer for. After all you've been through, you've had a pretty great run. Well, yeah, but... And you might be back one day in the future. But for now, it's just the last seat of the play-in tournament for your boys with just a few weeks left in the season. Hey, real quick though, before we leave, with all the germs going around, would you mind just cleaning your collective jaws that all dropped to the ground the other night when De'Aaron Fox hit that walk-off and told you face-to-face -to -face how nice he was in your own city? Mother. Hey, we just want to take the proper precautions and make sure everybody's safe. That's all. Do we get a tour guide at least? Well, we were going to pair you up with Trey Lyles, but unfortunately, he couldn't make it. It's a bummer. How come? Yeah, he'd love to be here. He's just up to his neck and clerical issues. Oh, hey there, Milwaukee. See you in June.